All right. Let's see if we can get Jennifer on her bootleg wireless. Hey, your shit's bootleg. What? Come on, unmute. Right. Okay. Perfect. So oh, be, no, 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 no. Don't just jump in and start talking. Hi. Hello. What? Your, how old are you? I am twenty-eight. Do. Oh my. So you need to be still. Do. Uh, so, what do you have on the topic? Do my do women. Can modern women survive without men? Okay, yes. Going back to your original question, you asked if women need men to survive. Personally, I don't. However, I agree with you with everything you said in the past two episodes. Here's why. Um, well, before, before you, before you, before you, I got to ask a question. I got to question this. You don't need, personally, you don't need men to survive? That's what you said. Personally, I don't. Personally. Ma'am, I call BS. Can you... Get, what state do you live in? I'm New York. Right. Have you ever planted food? Have you ever planted anything? Have you ever planted anything? Have you ever, okay, you, how would you eat? Oh, grocery store. No, 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 ma'am. See, the grocery store is built by men. Yes. It's stocked by men. Are you, yes, I agree. No, no, but no, 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 no. We're not going down. No, no. I am going to make you ladies slow down and think about what you're saying. When you come in and say, personally, I don't need a man. And the first thing I ask you about is you live in New York. I know damn well you ain't never seen no parts of the country, no parts of a field, no parts of an animal. Your food comes from the grocery store. Your food comes from the market. It's trucked me into New York City. Okay. So I, Look, when you said I need a man, I thought men to like sexually um, in terms of a romance. It says for survival. Can for survival, women survive without men? For survival. Yeah, so survival, that's all, I, I concur. That's all I'm talking about. That's what we're talking about. Survive. See, okay, so you you will, you guys will probably have more respect for men if you start understanding that we are we are the reason you're here in the first place. Without us, you're dead. I agree. Here's why. So I'm a logistician in the military. I go to a school that's 90% males because that's the field they all go to on um, supply chain management. Nine or so, 90. Nine or ninety percent of the school I go to, males. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, but I'm I'm, I'm also a teacher. Seventy percent, seventy five percent females in my class. So, I I disagree with the female, the rugged female. Personally, I'm very rugged. I play rugby. I'm in the military. You right? disagree? Okay, but stop. Okay, you disagree with. What is it you're disagreeing with? Because I. That female, that you rugged Karen, okay. I didn't like where she was coming from because within the supply chain management, right? There's the difference between being effective and being efficient. Yeah. So her argument was more so based on efficiency, saying, yes, women can do it. I agree. However, your response was more on the effective side. Yes, yeah. women are able to do it. However, men can do it in half the time and with half the power and they do twice as much. Yeah. So that's the difference between efficiency and being eff- an effectiveness from a supply chain perspective. So, but I, ACFT, I, I just want to hit on that. I failed my ACFT. Okay. And I played rugby. I'm in the military. However, that's the fitness. That's the that's the readiness test. Yes, I failed oh. it when I oh. was at the top. The test prior, I scored a 298 out mm-hmm. of a 300. I was faster than half of these males. I have more scars on one leg than most men do in their entire bodies. However, oh. I've had a lot of injuries playing rugby, so I cannot lift. And it's the same the same thing you talked about. I can't lift my own body weight. Mm-hmm. However, there's no equity in that. Um, what, do you, what do you mean? For example, um, my sergeant, 250 pound man, six feet. I have to weigh, I have to lift more than he does. I have to do more than he does because I'm a lieutenant. 
So I don't see how he has to do less than I have to do simply. Because okay. I'm Let me, okay. So let's get to practicality. You may be a tough competitor on the battlefield where there's not a lot of lifting necessary. Do we want a front line full of women? A front line full of men? Men, I, I don't, and that's the reason why I didn't go into combat. I understood my limitations. I understood that I wouldn't be able to keep up with a man that's six feet. Yes, I play rugby on this, this Brit girl, however female. However, I cannot lift the same amount as a man that's six feet and 200 pounds. I'm only 5'3". Well, and uh, why is that test there in the first place? The the why they changed it? No, why was the test why was the test that you failed there in the first place? Because they're trying to create a more dynamic test that that demonstrates your different abilities. Okay, no, no, no. I don't mean I'm talking about before the military was integrated with women, men didn't complain about a standard. You either did or didn't. The test had a reason for being there. Why was it there? It made for a stronger soldier. But, but here's the thing. Okay, I, but before before you move on, we got to acknowledge that. I agree. Yes, there. All right, they're, because on the battlefield, you cannot all. You need to have upper body strength as well as lower body strength. You need endurance, stamina. Or else you make you make yourself and other people vulnerable. But I, I don't, think that's very narrow. It, it, so the military. Then why did Captain America, then why is Captain America? Mm, that's you, and that's combat related, right? However, I'm sorry, I'm ma'am. Charge, I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on. No, no, don't over, so don't over, don't over talk me. Okay. Because this is combat. Uh, you're in the military. True or false? Yes. You should be able to, were well, you not trained to kill people and break things in basic training? That's what it is. Kill people kill and break people, stuff. Yes. Kill <laughs> people and break stuff. Then you tell me, then you mean to tell me we killed you. We shot, we taught you how to kill people and break stuff. And then we need you sitting someplace where we can't use you to kill people and break stuff. So, yes. if we, so no, no, because if we all of a sudden had to go to war, you should have to go out there because you have the training. And if you're saying, well, I can't get out there and do the training, can't, can't go kill people and break stuff because I've been sitting back here, then give us back our money. No, here's why. Exactly. Um, I got offered combat related job, like the one you're describing, three times, three times I turned it down because I why? knew I was capable of it. I knew but my so, so, a so you want the so it's uh, there's an argument that can be made. You want the benefits that come along with being in the military, but you don't want to do everything that comes along with being in the military. You but don't want to do the combat part of it, huh? I'm an officer. Remember, but, but an, I don't care if you're an officer. If you should still okay, you're in the military. I'm a civilian. I expect you to go die before me. That's what we pay yeah. for. I don't expect yeah, you to go take the benefits and then be like, oh, I don't want to go to the war. That's why. See, when I was a young guy. There was still selective service. And there's a reason I didn't go to the ROTC and get money and go to, and go into college and drive the Jetta and everything else when everybody else was going to school. And I saw so many men complaining about the desert storm, going to war. And I'm like, well, you took the money. Now you do the war. You're getting the benefit. And all I'm saying is you sh you're going to you're supposed to be in the army that's supposed to defend the country. And when you get called up, you should be able to do the job that you're being paid for. Which is the first job, security. Logistics is fine, but eventually, if we had enough people die on the battlefield, they'd have to call you up before they start the draft. Yes or no? Yes. Exactly. Kevin, I agree. All right. However, you, Let me get on to, you, okay. you will not be able to survive without me, Kevin. You will yeah, not. I would. I'm, I'm going to show you right now. No, you got your no, goddamn mind. Not. Yeah, you're, right. out, you're, out, you're out of your damn mind. I can survive without you. Me can survive without you. I don't know why you ladies think that y'all are that damn special when you can't even lift your own body weight. Yes, the job you can do, men trained you how to do it. You may be a tough woman, but you're still female. What are we talking about here? 
This is the same woman who made the argument to say, no, we can't. Logistics and such and so forth. But I can't survive without you. Outside of your French toast mind. Unmute yourself. Why do I need you? Why can't I survive without you? Mm, okay. So let's say you're infantry, right, Kevin? Um, you're out there, you're hauling ads. However, your water resupply, food, transportation, I'm in charge of all the, the logistics related activities. So you can't, you can't trek 50 miles. You need me. I know, to, I know what army travels on its, on its, on its, on its yes, food. Let's say water. We're, we're, no, no, let me stop you. Let me stop you. Let me stop you. Let me stop you. You're in charge of it. But if you get shot, someone else is in charge of it. True or false? If you died, if a canister fell on your head, if you had a heart attack, someone else would step up to do your job. True or false? False. No. So you mean to tell me you have the only job in the military that if you don't do it, everybody else, that you mean we have a single point of failure in our logistics chain? I don't buy that. In the, in the officer, the officer. No, ma'am. Listen to what I asked you. You said I'm in charge of X, Y, Z. Yes. All right. And if you are not doing X, Y, Z, the task doesn't get done. True or false? Yes. Here's why. Um, no, no. True or false? Does the task get done? Yes. The task gets done? No. If I provide the proper guidance, it will be completed. If you die of a heart attack, would the task fall to someone else or would the task not get completed? It will be pushed on to the next ranking. So we don't need you. You just made a scenario that if you didn't do something, then I couldn't get something. And I just told you, if you died, somebody else will pick it up. We don't have a single point of failure like that. Don't wave your finger and shit at me. You can do that to your troops. Oh, you want to do that with me? Oh, okay. You want to keep it up? Or we going to have a conversation? Unmute yourself. Stop being silly. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, But it's like, can the CEO be replaced? Ma'am. If he died of a heart attack. Yeah, of course. Same, it, there's a but hierarchy. Of course. Of course, yes, but, what you, but, but the example you, but the example, but the example you gave is, if you needed water and such and so forth, uh, you couldn't survive if I didn't do my job. And the 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 implication was that you're the only one that can do that job. And I said, no, you're doing the job right now. But if you die, somebody else will do the job. We'd still get water. We don't have a you single point of failure in the military. You will have to bring in another lieutenant. So what? The so what? Down. So what? It would still happen because if not, ma'am, that means all of, all all an enemy would have to do would be to kill you, and it can it can ruin an entire battalion. Makes no sense. But I would never be out on the patrol. Ma'am, it. it doesn't matter. I said a heart attack. But, I kept you awake. See, ma'am, what you're trying to do is you're trying to make a scenario to where we need you, and we don't. You may do a valuable job, man, but other people are trained to do the job just fine. See, I know enough about the military to know that even the people who specialize, if you drop your gun, the medics are even trained how to use rifles. True or false? Right. But they don't, but, but do they necessarily carry them? No, but they know how. Someone's but trained how to do your job. Ma'am, this is a silly, this is a silly argument. We don't need you. You may be G.I. Jane, you may be tough, everything else, but at the end of the day, female, male. Without logistics, you die without food, you die with wa without we don't, water. But, but you don't make the food or you make the water. You just make you just give the orders and process the paper. No, I get it from All right, there we go.
You know she's single as hell. 